Okay, guys, I'm going to post this to uh, YouTube and I'll uh, put a link into the Plumas Lake uh, Facebook page. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is just give you a quick introduction on how the computer controlled lights are controlled. There's a number of us here in Plumas Lake uh, that are doing this. We've all got uh, slightly different setups, um, but I'll just talk through the basic models. Um, so uh, you've got the software side which can run on a PC or Mac. So I've just got a, a demo here. So you need a, a PC um, or a Mac to actually do the editing and send the commands to the lights. And that's using a program called X-Lights. And this is free. Um, so uh, I'll include some uh, links in the uh, video. And then you've got the hardware side that actually controls the light. So there's a number of pieces that go into this. There's the Pixel controller itself. That's about $250. There's lots of different versions um, that are available from different vendors. Then you need a router. Uh, the router is basically connecting a Raspberry Pi that controls the show once we've uh, done all of the editing of the software and it speaks to the pixel controller through the router. So uh, the routers, you can use any router that's available out there, um, but this is just a, an example. This is about $50. There's the Raspberry Pi, which is a, a little standalone unit, which is about $100 that um, controls the lights and via the pixel controller. And then sitting underneath there, we've got um, smart receivers. So these are basically the ones that uh, convert the power from the power supply that you can see here and actually send it out to the RGB pixel. So I've just got four, uh, uh, four examples here of RGB pixels. They're about $30 for 100. And you can buy those on Amazon. Um, and that's the basic setup. Um, you can have multiple smart receivers on here. So this is the F48 pixel controller that's uh, $250. And that can control about 16,000 pixels. Um, so uh, I've got about 4,500 pixels. I know that uh, a number of other folks in uh, Plumas Lake have got uh, well over 10,000 pixels. So it's fairly flexible. So you might ask, what the heck is uh, an RGB pixel? Uh, so uh, RGB stands for uh, red, green, and blue. And so uh, if you actually look at these pixel strings, you can buy them in different formats, but this is the bullet pixel string. Uh, and if you look at that, they get you buy them in bunches of uh, 100 pixels. Um, and if you actually zoom in on this, they look like bullets. And obviously that's why it's called bullet pixels. Uh, and then you've got an incoming wire and an outgoing wire. And then if you if you uh, broke open the top, um, you would see an LED. Um, so this is only about a thumbnail size uh, of what an RGB uh, pixel looks like, but it's uh, basically got a red LED, a blue LED, and a green LED. That's why it's called RGB, red, green, and blue. Um, and that's what's being controlled by the pixel controllers. Now, if you look at that, um, you can actually take these bullet pixel strings. They come in about 100 uh, pieces on a string. Um, and then you push them into uh, pieces of Coro. So these are like plastic that you can buy uh, off the web. Um, and you can buy things like spiders. Uh, I've got six spiders in my display. And there's about 100 pixels on the spiders here. I've also got singers. So this is just one example of the singer here. Um, I've got 304 pixels on the singer. And then the outlines that go around the house, um, this can be variable, right? So these come in about eight foot lengths and you push the pixels in um, to uh, do your uh, horizontal and vertical outlines on your house. Um, so again, you know, I've probably got uh, uh, probably about uh, 100 of these on my house with various uh, different numbers of pixels. And then I've also got tombstones. So here is the, the bottom example. So we've got 19 pixels here and there are hundreds of uh, different types of uh, um, props that you can build up. So I've just given you examples of spider, my singers and tombstones, but you can get spotlights, you can get stars, uh, you can get mega trees, and, but they're all based on these uh, bullet pixel strings. 
So costs, before we get into actually how you hook all of this up, um, this is my estimated costs of uh, all of my pixels. I've got about four and a half thousand pixels, something like that. Um, obviously, uh, the cost, if I just walk you through this, the PC I already had. So if you've just got a standard PC, you can do uh, the editing of the uh, light show on your PC. And I'll do that in a second video. Uh, X Lights is the piece of software that you can download to actually control uh, the lights and actually do the editing of the uh, sequences. And that's free. Uh, you need a router, um, so that's about $50. Uh, the Pixel controller, I'm using um, the uh, uh, F48, so this uh, has uh, 48 uh, potential outputs um, to control the Pixel strings. That's $250. Then you have the Raspberry Pi that becomes the final controller to, to schedule all of the lights and uh, uh, make them play on the house. That was $100. I've got smart receivers in there. There's 10 of those. And, and what they're basically doing is doing the final uh, um, the current control that gets pushed out to the uh, pixels themselves. So I've got 10 of those. And that's about $300 for those uh, 10 smart receivers. And then I've got a four and a half thousand pixels on there. So if you look at that, if you bought those off Amazon as an example, that's about $1,400. I've got five uh, tombstones, and so $55 um, in total for a set of five. I've got six spiders, and that's uh, $90. And then I've got a matrix that sits on my uh, garage. That's uh, 100 bucks. And then I've got a small tree, and that's $100. And then I would just go through some of the other things, the trim pieces to mount it up onto the house. That's 60 bucks. And then you've got the spotlights. I've got six of those, and that's $150 in total. So if I went all the way down and all of the uh, um, <clears throat> other costs associated with it, I think we've got something like, if I move this out of the way, about $3,800 or thereabouts. So just for my display, it's about $4,000. So that's a very quick overview of how to get into uh, the lights. It gives you an idea of what the costs uh, associated with it. Um, and then uh, obviously what I'll do if there's interest, I'll uh, start running a demo on uh, my laptop and do a recording on uh, how X lights uh, um, controls the lights and how you get the files um, to actually start getting the lights to flash on and off. So very quick overview of X lights and the costs associated with it. Um, there's a lot of work uh, to build all of this up, but it's just a quick overview for anyone who's interested, okay?